school. I can't believe I did this shit for the fifth straight day. Bro. Breeze blowing. God awful fucking place. I don't know why the hell want anybody filming in there. So, I was very careful now, too. And, um, you know, it's just, uh, What a fucking weird place. It's almost like you, you took one of those, like, erector set Lego things and made a big warehouse out of it, out of the same color, yellow and stainless steel. And it's a disorientating place, and it's so, the air is so artificially being blown around, filtered somehow, that you can definitely get a headache from it and somebody who's already has had autoimmune responses to weird shit like viruses um i don't really get allergies the pollen count's not so high today um it's 80 degrees and i made a point just to see like okay maybe take it easy and then go to work instead of working out in the morning i did a little yoga this morning but um i can definitely say that this place will give you a fucking headache no matter what it's just not it's not normal People are tough, but that doesn't mean that it's acceptable to have a working condition like that. There's a lot of chemicals. Um, the bathroom seems a bit, it, 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 even though it's light labor, um, it's the warehouse itself that, that's an uncomfortable thing. I mean, that's not um, for everybody, I get it, but um, they could improve the warehouse a lot. They could make it much more conducive to at least open the roof up or something with some fresh air. Um, it, it's it's like um, there's all these boxes of cardboard that they're that we're opening up, plastic and chemicals and the cardboard and the dust and the particles, and then those things sit around and then they decant and, and decanting literally when you take a glass uh, and take a bottle of wine decant to decant a very divan a glass of wine you take it out and let it aerate for about 24 hours, you take the cork out the bottle and you pour it into a decanter, which is another glass vessel, and the wine will aerate. That's what decanting is, and that's kind of what um, is happening here with toxic chemicals from China. And um, I'm concerned for everybody's health here. Um, I feel like, you know, I don't want to be the big whistleblower. I believe that I, sh I should, as, as a good Samaritan, um, exercise my right to free speech and speak truth to power. Um, we certainly can afford to pay people more here. Um, they could put like a gym, a little workout area that you can decompress your spine from, from standing long periods of time, and that would eliminate some of the people who just feel like they're too, you know, the, the, the break rooms, I guess they take that out of your time um, to sit down, but you know, there's a multi-faith room, which is cool. I was able to pray and decompress my spine there a little bit, but um, making some kind of thing where you can go outside more would be better. Um, because yesterday, I noticed in these vending machines, they give you a lot of these, like, um, you know, these PPE, that sort of thing. And these vending machines, they sell a lot of, uh, it's not selling, they give you, like, these certain limit of, of gloves and things like that, cutters, and um, an expenditure on your ID per week, and, and they sell, uh, they also they vend aspirin, and ibuprofen, and Tylenol, as if it's expected that you'll get a headache here, <laughs> along with needing some gloves, it's so surreal, but honestly, if we're not for some people who, who actually um, are just real, they, it, and, and uh, as to respect their privacy, um, I won't mention them by name, but um, they just kept it real, and they were very nice, and, and they, it just welcoming and, and very friendly and warm, and made some very funny jokes. Um, and there's people from all over the world here. It's heartbreaking. Um, I noticed there's a lot of folks from South America here who um, they're they're.
they're desperate and they um, <laughs> they'll 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 work themselves to the bone and, and uh, hopefully not develop some kind of condition because doing this for a very long period of time cannot be healthy, especially for someone who has a compromised immune system. Um, there's a certain level of allergens and um, irritants in, in this. Um, so I, I've done a lot of physical work and I like doing it, but it's better to do it outside. It's very, very strange way that the warehouse is designed more like a fort. But anyway, um, please share my video, um, you know, I, I, I've applied for other positions at Amazon, some corporate positions, and it seems to go kind of well, but then I want to relocate me, of all places, to Tennessee, so maybe I'll apply for something else here, um, in the near future, and see how it goes, but, uh, so far it's just one of the craziest fucking places, I gotta say, it's just, I don't know what else to say at this point. It, it, it's disorienting. It's just, you go in there and, and there's some numbers that, that tell you which area or whatever, but if you don't look up the numbers, it's completely disorienting. There's a staircase. It's like some kind of MC Escher with like, no. <laughs> it's just bizarre. It's like a maze that goes up. It looks like one of those games that they came out in the 70s.